We learned all these self-images. They're concepts we have about ourselves. And they are so um, fascinating to us, and they are so efficient for getting us through the world, this world, this plane, that we don't hear the whisper of the other parts of our being. They kind of get lost in the shuffle of efficiency, of keeping it together on this plane. And everybody gets really grounded. They all know their zip codes. They have a job. They get their act together. They get their laundry done. The oil changed. Pay your taxes. You keep it together. You... <coughs> but have you ever noticed that even when you're doing it extremely well, you feel a little trapped? You feel a little bit like you're being had by the universe. It's interesting, people work to, to realize the fantasies of the culture. If you get educated, get a degree, get a good job, have a family, get a home, get insurance, have a car that works, you get it all, you're going to be happy. But have you noticed how you get sucked into a, uh, this is great, but if only I, you know, it's like this hot tub, there's a squeal in the sound system. This hot tub is magnificent, but wouldn't it be better with some perfume oil? Let's have some incense. Wine would be great in the tub. Music would add, and you just keep adding one thing after a partner. <laughs> now we're getting closer. And you have moments when you say, this is it, this is enough. I've got it. And then it goes through your hands like slish. And a moment later, well, what do we do now? So it's, let's go to dinner. Wow, that's good. Let's get an ice cream cone. You're eating the ice cream cone. Want to go to the movies? You go to the movies. Let's get a piece of pizza. Let's get that late television show. Let's make love. I'm exhausted. Let's go to sleep. And you start all over again the next day. And it's always that, have you ever noticed it? I mean, am I alone in this? It's, it's that constant, like, the mind is always living just, if only, if only, as soon as, if, then. And how often do you just sit here and say, this is enough? I mean, you even may come here tonight to try to collect wisdom. Everything you need to know, you already know. I don't know anything you don't know. I just say it well. You'll notice I'll say something, you go like that. Well, how did you know? Either you knew or you didn't know. If you know, you go like that. You knew what you need to come here for. So the model in your head that you're collecting something is keeping you from being here. Because you're someone going somewhere. And I hate to tell you, but there's nowhere to go. This is it. This is it. If this isn't it, there isn't any. Everything you did in your entire life was preparation for this moment. This is it. say, I can't afford to stop. I mean, I have commitments, I have responsibilities, I have contracts, I have a job, I have... That doesn't matter, you can do all that. You can either do it from being, thinking you're going somewhere, or having arrived, and then you do what you do. I have nowhere to go.
It's interesting when all life gets that way. What do you do? What do we do with the rest of the time? It's even further out than that because there's no time. Everything of you that's in time is all passing show. It's all corrupting and falling apart anyway. Christ said, lay not up your treasures where moth and rust doth corrupt. That includes your body and your personality and your friends and your loved ones. Everything's changing, everything's dissolving, it's all going. It could make you nervous. <laughs> if you identified with it, if you think you are a form of any kind, even a thought, unfortunately, it's all going to change. I mean, you are at this moment dying. You may not have realized it. But everybody in here is decaying. It's built into the system. You can eat as much wheatgrass as you want, <laughs> and you will still decay and die. Just like the trees drop their leaves, it's built into the system. If you identify with your Volvo, sooner or later, even a Volvo, <laughs> oh, no, not a Volvo, even a Volvo, will go. It can't go. It's my Volvo. It's my body. This is your life. It's my life. It's going. If you are busy thinking you are somebody going somewhere, doing something that's going to amount to something, suffering. It's as simple as that.